Hi, I'm Andrea Amador, the Juicy Woman, and I'm a professional coach and body image self-esteem expert, and I'm here to share some ideas with you. You ever found pictures of yourself at a young age and you thought you were absolutely the size of a house and you were shocked to find that you weren't? Well, I had a really interesting treasure hunt over the past couple of days and I'd like to share it with you. It truly does show how you can waste your entire life dieting and obsessing about your body. And I want so much to help you to stop doing that. So now here's the deal. I am a die hard, hardcore Elton John fan. I absolutely love his music. And I can, basically his music would be the soundtrack to my life. Every single song from the time that I was 10 years old, I can mark it and I know exactly how old I was when I first heard it. Instead of doing that, what I'd like to share is another soundtrack of my life, which is not quite so nice sounding. It's I Hate My Fat Thighs. It started at 10 years old and it went all the way up through about a year and a half ago. And I'd really like to share it with you because my guess is that probably you have a similar refrain going around in your head. I hate my fat thighs, I hate my stomach, I hate my jiggly arms. Who knows what it is, but it's probably something that you're saying that you hate about yourself. So, I'd like you to listen to mine and see if it touches you, okay?
actually, I'll admit, I took the liberty of going ahead and tossing in a whole bunch of pictures of my family because I'm crazy about them. And I, maybe it was a cheesy thing to do. But anyway, the idea is this. I want to get you thinking. When are you willing to stop the nonsense? When are you willing to dis stop distracting your life from living? How long are you going to put off your life for the size of your thighs? Well, that's my thing. Maybe yours is your stomach or your arms or your droopy breasts or whatever. Whether you have big thighs or small thighs, thin, thin thighs or, or medium-sized thighs or stomach or breasts or whatever, it doesn't matter. What really matters is how you feel about yourself. Because as you've noticed by looking at my pictures, even when I was down to what would be considered a goal weight, I was still obsessing about those damn thighs. Now, I think that's a crying shame. Because there was so much of my life that I completely lost because I was so focused on how I looked and how I appeared to people, the size of my thighs, what dresses I could fit in. If I was a size 14, I absolutely refused to try on a size 14. I try and squeeze into those size 10s or size 8s. Hello, what's the matter with me? I don't think I'm the only one doing this. Because up to 67% of all American women are size 14 and up. We don't recognize how wonderful we are. It's time to start stepping up and being a proud plus size woman and being curvy and confident and loving your body. So come on, join me. I would love to lead you on an amazing perception revolution so that you can change the way that you think and feel about your thighs and any other part of you that you may now despise. I really, really want you to get this gift. It's tremendous. Jump on to my website. It's thejuicywoman.com. Okay, talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.